Hello everybody, uh, 2 for 4 here. Welcome back to uh, Legacy of the Dragonborn. Uh, in the last one, we joined the Vigilance of Stendar, and we got this Altano dude who we're sort of just following around and mainly doing his chores from the from the look of things. Um, but here we are, Stendar's beacon. Uh, I'm just going to take a look around while we're here. See if anything sticks out. Anything we can take. Because it doesn't look like there is a steel option, but there is a lot of... Ooh, yes! Coral of Abjuration. We are going to need most of these. Causes end end Dragon Priest to lose a significant amount of health and magicka, and can also remove their curses. Causes Dragon Priest and Draugr to lose. So I guess you could use that on the Dragon Priest, but I feel like don't you need to save it and use it on their equipment? Anything else might just be a waste. Let's see what's in this chest. Oh, it's a steely chest. Well, let's see what's inside of it. <clears throat> Conjure the Lord of Bindings. Thankfully no one's looking at me or I wouldn't have stolen that. Oh my god. I forgot I could do the sneak roll. Alright, well, let's talk to Altano because Jacob here told us that they found this uh, lady person and that she's in a cave, I think? In the rat way. Right, rat way. Hmm. I have friends in the Ragged Flagon. I'll try and get some information from them. Okay. I'll go on ahead. You meet me there as soon as you're ready. Okie pokey. So we're going to go meet Altano at the Ragged Flagon. Oh, meet Altano. Okay. It's just pointing at him. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to miss anything in particular. Calling a fight between dragons a deadly verbal debate is not the verbiage I personally would have used. Um, I think it would have gone for something like rare trinkets and the finest oddities from Morrowind. Like a shouting match. I feel like that kind of hits the uh, mark a little bit more accurately than shouting match. Oh. It's probably telling me to go outside the city so I can walk all the way back to where Altano was taking his sweet time to get here. That's kind of what happened when we went to Stendar's Beacon. Woodcutter's Axe. I need one of those. Have I been down here? I think I have. I have. Fantastic. Or have I? <laughs> Never mind, sorry. Oh, dang. Battle Arm Sword. I feel like this is a unique item. Beggar. Drum. Alright. Let's go down to the Ragged Flagon. Ragged. Ragged. Ragged Flagon. Yep. <clears throat> so, how, uh, how's everyone doing today? Has been a minute since we last spoke, I feel like, but here we are. <sighs> yeah, I always forget this section exists. A spigot. Yes, and we do not have access to their storage cabinet just yet. So let's go down to the ratways. Or wait, are we supposed to go to the ratways or are we supposed to wait for Altano? Ugh. There he is! Hi. Did you find anything out at the day during the right way? Right. I heard a Khajiit called Giovanni summoned it. Find that Khajiit while I search for the Daedra. Giovanni. Giovanni? Mm hmm hmm. Giovanni, the leader of Team Sprocket. I'm all about that there naming convention. Excuse you. Oh, wow. Good word. Good good job, Indigo. <clears throat> Barkeeper shoes. You made short work. Oh. <laughs> Another soul demands release. Wow, that's that's an awfully beautifully violent thing to say. 
Yeah, I just cut your head off with the fucking broad end of a hammer. How do you feel about that, bitch? Let's take it downtown. Into the Ratway Warrens. Um, I think that's that guy I was supposed to kill. Nailed it. <laughs> nice. Hi, Giovanni. Giovanni is looking for Campanera. His precious Campanera. Where is she? Huh? Hey, I heard you summoned a Daedra, is that true? Giovanni tried. Giovanni tried with sweet skooma and liver of a skeever. But, but nothing happened. Giovanni did what the glowing woman told him and nothing happened. Uh, Why? I don't know. So who's, who is this woman? Giovanni noticed. <laughs> Giovanni is very smart. The liver of a skeever was not good enough. Giovanni noticed, but perhaps the lever in front of him is good. Good enough? Giovanni says so. Campanera will also say so. Let's get this over with. Somebody help! Please. That was brief. Piece of redstone. Hmm. Red cat ring. What? This looks awesome. Meow. On arm strikes do 50 additional damage. I'll take all of the skooma too. You know, Someone for. Do something. For. Say, what the fuck? And I'm down. What is happening to me? I was in a bed. What? This lady must be Campana Ra. Those are rare. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> Giovanni. Giovanni. Wake up, Giovanni. It is morning. Huh? What is it, Campana Ra? Get up, Giovanni. Breakfast is ready. Alright, Campana Ra. This one made your favorite tomato soup today. It will get cold if you do not eat it quickly. Yeah. I'm not gonna question this one. Questionable things going on here. What the fuck? <clears throat> um. What is going on? Whoa, there's another dead body. What is with all these burned corpses? This is getting kind of creepy. I guess I'll... Hi. Sit down, Giovanni. It is bad manners to eat while standing. You're not wrong, but what were you saying? Today's soup is delicious. This one is sure you will like it. Oh. So where's the skooma? Are you still asleep? You said you will stop skooma. You promised. Sorry. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Enough. Soup is getting cold. Mmm. And she's gone. Alright, that's fine. Who's that? Marso. Pretty pelt. Such a pretty pelt. So very, very pretty. Pretty pelt. Hey, this pelt. It is companerar. Precious companerar. Marso and Campanera will be together soon. Uh, why? Campanera will not look at Marso, but Marso wants to be with Campanera. I will never forgive you. Jealous, Giovanni? Jealousy makes one ugly. Marso used to be ugly, but no more. Campanera is with him now. Goodbye, Giovanni. Marso and Campanera are going on a journey. With Campanera, Marso will not be cold, even in wintry Skyrim. Whoa! Empusa! Be gone, demon! Take Campanera's spell from Marso. Please grant Giovanni's last wish. I will take the pelt. I'm 
I'm good. I'm gonna go just watch that happen, I guess. Uh, take Gambit or Rosbell from Marceau. Well, what do you know? Bucket, knife, book, ink. I'll make this right, Giovanni. Dooby dooby doo. Gotta go the slow way. Back up. Now you're mine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, break. <laughs> That's what I'll take. Yes. There is good stuff here. I well, no, I'm just trying to get out of here. Be careful. These mists carry what? many Wheel of Pain amulet. That's Jesus. That's cool again. Well done. Indigo is so on the ball today. Bam. Alright, out to the Ragged Flag and we're going to talk to Altano and then we're going to kill Marceau because Marceau is a crazy person. He doesn't deserve to do the alive and well boogie. If you're looking for conversation, the flagon isn't the place. Wow. She's a little bit snooty. Um, is that the door out? Like, is it just like... Okay, yeah, it is. <clears throat> We're gonna kill Marceau. This seems like a lot of work around. Like, what is the point of us doing this? Like, we have to kill some guy who has an eye in, in, in the... And the understanding that he may just go a little crazy, but... Wow, okay. With the understanding that he might just go a little bit crazy, but... We gotta go out of our way to kill this one guy and take the pelt of some other dude's lady that we just killed because... Because why? <laughs> why, why, why? Why do we have to do that? Why did we pass out and experience a little bit of Giovanni's life there? I feel like that's unexpected. And we know right where this guy is, too. The real question is, is why didn't Giovanni just do this himself at some point? Because he was high on skooma the whole time? I feel like that may have something to do with it, but whatever. Who knows? This is what the quest has to do. So we're gonna do it. <laughs> Whew. Still feels a little bit like a bar crawl, because here we are. Back at Candle Earth Hall. With Robot Inn Lady. Let me know if you want anything. Campanera is warm. Marzo is happy. Very happy. Right. Return Campanera, Marzo. No! Guys, you'll never do this. Marzo and Campanera are finally together. Why do you disturb us? Marzo hates you. You Too bad. smell like jealousy. Like Giovanni. Marzo hates Giovanni. Oh, it's on. <laughs> Bitch. Give me that. Crazy fucker. 
Giovanni cannot wait. However, hurry. Giovanni wants to meet Camp Ra soon. The Black Cat Ring. Double sneak attack damage of one-handed weapons. Amulet of Mara, right? Because he's a crazy bitch. Okay. And another piece of redstone. What is going on with this redstone person? And Skuma. Why am I not surprised? Fools are actually fighting. For the darkness has passed, oh. and the legend... Oh, bye. <laughs> Marceau's dead because he had it coming. He's a crazy bitch. <sighs> Do we have to go all the way back to the ragged flagon and leave? Ugh. <laughs> Not just Dragon Flagon. We gotta go all the way back into the rat ways, I assume. Backtrackers Anonymous. Hmm. <sighs> ah. That does seem to be a large majority of what we're doing is backtracking. At least for this part. No big deal. Doesn't bother me. I just kind of don't understand what's going on, that's all. I mean, maybe I'm missing something, but I am quite confused at this turn of events. Where's Altano? Like, I I'm being possessed by Giovanni, is what this seems like. <clears throat> and we're just doing his bidding because... Because. <laughs> Don't really have any uh, good reason for why we might be doing this. Other than we are possessed. Or maybe we are, we, we are the hand of uh, Stendar doing, doing Giovanni's bidding because he wants Stendar to do it. I don't know. I'm hoping this is gonna get explained because I'm a little bit confused. Hi, how's the search? And he's got nothing to say. Fine. Back down to the rat bays. You know, I wonder how long I was passed out and Inigo was just like, well, I guess I'll just wait. It's <laughs> a good question. That's what I want to know the answer to. Hey. Ego. <laughs> Poor Toei, wait, if I take it, does it go back? Ah. Ink pot, stone, bucket. If it's a unique item, I want to have it. Maybe it's wrong to still take it. Maybe I can just make a replica. I don't know. If I can't, I don't want to risk losing it. So, I'm gonna go and take it with me. Doesn't really change the outcome of the quest at this point, so. It's all good. Little baby chests. Here, maybe. Oh. God damn it. Nope. Oh man, come on. Whew. Surprised that lockpick lasted through that. I thought it was a goner for sure. Oh, Ashlander tribal wrap. All the way from Vardenfall, yet Ash still seems to drift from the cloak with every movement. What? That's actually kind of awesome. I'm going to put it on. Get those. I was expecting particle effects, honestly. I mean, this is still... Pretty awesome. I'm glad I found something neat. And it still matches my armor, so I'm 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 totally cool to wear this. Right on. That is what I like most about Legacy of the Dragonborn, is finding unique things that when you get them, you're just like, oh. <laughs> nice. They really make you feel good. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you the dragonborn guns. <laughs> Have you ever heard the tragedy of Ragnar the Red? 
<clears throat> I was on the Elder Scrolls subreddit, and I saw a lot of funny memes on there pertaining to Skyrim. Altano, hey! I took care of the Khajiit and his Daedra. Indeed. I'm glad to have such an excellent partner. Yeah, I bet Let's you are. Let's return to Stendar's beacon. Perhaps the summoner's been caught already. I bet it's really nice to have a excellent partner. Someone to pull the weight that you're not pulling. Altano. Alright, so we're going to go talk to Jacob. I'm pretty sure it's just Jacob. But, no matter. Stop. Not a step further. Uh. Uh. If I don't stop, what will you do? Then I will cut you down like all the others. Where is this person? If you don't want to die, leave. Oh, there they leave. are. Leave. I am sure you have someone who waits for your safe return. They're blending in with the wall so well. Why did you attack the vegan? I'm only doing my job. Is that a good enough reason for you? Uh, no. And what about uh, our pursuit team? Those chasers. I, love I killed them. Here. They're probably food for trolls somewhere them, now. Figures. All right, well. Come on. You're not that strong, although you look awesome. Bitch. More blood on the ice. Let us move. Whoa. Soul is being purged. Cursed greatsword. If target dies within 20 seconds, fill a soul gem. Yes. Looks for strength. Key to Stender's Beacon Basement. And the Vag Vagrant Armor. And I'm carrying too much to be able to run. A wedding ring. Oh no. Oh, that's sad. Alright. And I'm carrying too much to be able to run because I am not a forward thinker, apparently. One oh seven, is this stuff better? One oh seven. One oh seven. Forty forty fifty three. Forty forty fifty three? It's the same. I can wear it. I'm gonna wear it. Oh, whoops. I like the way it looks. Alright, what can I drop that is heavy? I really Man, I need these. <laughs> Is there a crafting station in here somewhere? Man, all right, okay. Is this Falmer armor unique? I don't know. I guess I could probably drop the ebony armor because all things considered, I can probably get another set. Whereas, I'm pretty sure the one I'm wearing is unique, but if it's unique, don't I have to put it on the stand? Ugh, alright. Let's do that, and that, and that. Um, yeah, these are all sorted by weight, so if I'm not dropping the heavy stuff. Yeah, yeah, I really do need to get that um, scroll, don't I? Or that spell. The one that will let me not have these problems. Wait, where's my horse? Where is my horse? Is he out here? There he is. Alright, now I just need to remember the hotkey, so one sec. Ah, perfect. And just store shit on my horse. Bam. That is a problem basically straight up solved. I'll just go ahead and put this pilgrim shit in here too. And this old... Oh. I'll keep the old Histus flask. Thank you. Fantastic. Now I'm wearing this awesome armor for myself and I look dope. Let's go. Alright, actually... Before we head off into the basement, I'm actually going to end the episode off here, and in the next one, we're going to go into the basement. So, 
maybe a shorter episode. Uh, if so, I am sorry about that. But in the next one, we're going to head to the basement. And hopefully we're going to kill this summoner lady once and for all. And that will be a problem solved. What is that? Because that does not look like a bird. I don't know. Either way, thanks for watching. I've been 204, and I'll catch you guys all on the Flippy Flop side. Until then, just remember to be nice to each other. Yeah. I look awesome. Oh, hi, Altano. <laughs> hi. See you guys.